Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how you can change a commit message, but not just the message, also the author and the committer and everything like that. And uh, we'll we'll get into it. And this is based off of uh, get blame somebody else, uh, get blame someone else. And uh, I'll be walking through exactly how this works. But let's just do this one step at a time. So imagine, and this may not be too hard to imagine, you're not the best developer in the entire world, right? So you get hired on at a bank, and uh, you know you are tasked with working on their bank accounts, right? So you you open up Bank.js, right? And uh, they have a deposit method there. And your job today is to do the withdrawal method, okay? So if we do git blame here, I can see that uh, whoever did this so far is called Gary Good. And uh, Gary Good has done a great job of this. And so my name is Billy Bad, and I'm going to go ahead and make the withdrawal method, right? So it's basically the same thing as... Uh, as deposit, right? Just withdraw. And uh, I think that's it. I think I've done it perfectly, don't you? Okay, so now I'm going to add everything. I'm going to commit it and say add withdraw method. Okay, and if we look at the git log here, I'll spell out, right? Git log, you can see that Billy Bad, that's me, did the add withdraw method. Gary Good did add deposit method. Everything looks great. Now, if you're paying attention, you'll see that I messed up that withdrawal method. So anytime somebody withdraws money, they're just going to get the amount of money they withdrew. And uh, at this point, my boss uh, at the bank is going to be extremely upset with me and I'm probably going to get fired. Unless, unless I change it so it looks like Gary Good wrote this. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. Obviously, don't really do this. People will be able to figure it out. But, you know, it's a fun project to play around with. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, uh, remember I am changing this commit here, right? So I want this one to say that Gary Good uh, did this, is uh, I'm going to do git rebase, all right? If you don't know about rebase, you can look it up. It's complicated and I can't explain it that well. Uh, I'm going to grab the commit and I want to rebase it just back one. Okay, great. Now, instead of pick here, I don't want to pick this commit. I want to edit this commit and that should be enough right there and we'll save. All right, so this is the command that we have to run. This is a very long command. It took me several uh, tries to get it right, uh, but here we are. So git committer name and git committer email are environment variables uh, that we need to pass in. And uh, you might think, well, we've got the author. Why do we need the committer? So in git, the author and the committer are not always the same person. I didn't know that. I thought they were, but I, I guess this makes sense, right? So if you're working in a system where you write code, you send it off to somebody else and they commit it, they are the committer, you are the author. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that that's interesting to me. Okay, so we have to set the committer. We have to set the committer's email. We are amending the commit, no edit, and we are setting the author to again be Gary Good. Now remember, we're Billy Bad, but we're we're pretending to be Gary Good. Okay, so if I hit enter there, okay, that looks good. I'm going to do git rebase uh, continue. Good, and now if I do a git log, uh, it looks like Gary Good did this. Okay, it looks like Gary Good made this commit. Now you might look at this and go, well, I don't see any committer here. So why did you have to do that? I only see author. Okay, fair point. So git log uh, pretty is a way of formatting things. Uh, and so I can do git log pretty equals fuller. And if you do that, uh, you will see a bit more information, including the committer and uh, the commit date. Actually, looking at this now, I can see that author date and commit date are not identical. So there's probably a way of uh, setting those dates as well, uh, because right now a Git detective could figure this out. Actually, I'm sure a Git detective could figure this out in two seconds. I'm sure they'd just look at something that I don't understand and go, now you did this and we have you on camera or something like that. Okay, but yeah, so there we have it. So now it looks like Gary Good did this, and then I would you know push that commit up. Uh, Gary Good would approve it, and then you know I... I would not get fired. Gary Good would. And, uh, you know, the bank would, would most certainly fail because I'm their lead developer now. Okay. And like I said, I am basing this off Git blame someone else. I didn't come up with this. Um, and uh, I've, I've actually uh, made a pull request that has annotation for uh, the uh, file. It's just a bash file, right? But I've done a pull request that adds annotation explaining how it works. This probably will never get approved or merged in. But if you're really curious, you can you can read this. Uh, I'll have the link in the description. Okay, and this is the point where I remind you that you should actually never try and do this because you will for sure get caught. Somebody will figure it out. Uh, you know, Gary Good will snitch on you and uh, you'll be in big trouble. So hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.